So today I wanted to do some more outfit transformations. I love to take this idea where I'm just doing basic top, bottom, what I'd wear around my house and then dressing it up to more of like a going out look. So that's what I'm doing today with three different outfits, taking my general principles as far as what kind of shoes I would wear, jewelry, accessories, like outerwear. The first outfit is just a black top and black pants. Of course, this is really generic and something that I think anyone can do or has done. The way that I'm going to dress it up will completely transform this. So first you might recognize these shoes from my last video. I featured them heavily, but they're the Nisolo Chelsea boots. I love the fact that these boots have a little bit of an edge to them. Chelsea boots in general are something that have been a staple for wardrobes for quite a while. I love that this is a really classic pair that I can have. They're made with rubber soles, so that's going to help a lot with like weather. And then also I just love that it's got a heel to it, whereas a lot of Chelsea boots don't have this extreme of a heel. And so that was what I was looking for. And of course, Nisolo is one of my favorite companies. So the great thing about a black outfit is that it makes jewelry stand out so well. And that's what I love about the necklaces that I'm wearing today. I'm also just wearing like a mixture of brass and gold jewelry today. So I love to wear my everyday watch. And then I'll link everything down below in the description where you guys can find the pieces that I'm wearing. I'll just be using pretty much the same jewelry for each one of these looks to keep it kind of brief. But I think that it just makes such a difference to just put on a little bit of jewelry. If you struggle with looking a little young, then this is a really great way to elevate your style and look more adult and like more put together. It's also great for more of like an office look too, or just you know, there's several occasions when I think jewelry can be really appropriate if done right. Next, you might have noticed that I had tucked in my shirt. So that's definitely something that I always say is for especially someone who has like my body style where I am have like a longer torso and shorter legs, then having high-waisted pants really helps. I like to tuck in my tops whenever I do this. For this occasion, I actually want to wear my belt. This is a black belt that carries on that accessory of having like a gold element. So having the whole outfit come together with with this really is cool because the jewelry and the belt, they all kind of go together. Um, the belt is black, so that kind of matches the shoes and of course just the general monochromatic look with this. And it also just kind of pulls the whole outfit together, I think. So I might not be the edgiest person you know, but I really love the fact that this denim jacket just gives me a little bit of an edgier look. I think that it's kind of fun to be able to dress a little bit differently than normal, but still I think that this outfit is very chic. I like that the denim jacket isn't very long on me as a petite person. It's really hard to find a denim jacket that fits just right, but I do have a little bit of a hack, which is I like to unbutton the sleeves, roll them up once, and then take that button and button it back so that it actually looks like the jacket is shorter than normal, like it actually is tailored to fit me. Ideally, I should just take this to the tailor, but in a pinch, I think this is a really helpful hint. So this next look, I wanted to be able to have something that would do well in airports, but also especially great if you're just going to be lounging around the house or with family. Maybe you're going to be going out for the holidays and you know, it's great for just a day inside where you're eating really good food too. So this look starts out very indoorsy and then also you could transform it to something like more airport appropriate. The top is actually made out of Egyptian cotton, which is my cotton crop sweatshirt. The brand's actually called Cotton. I've talked about that this top a little bit in the past and I've really just been in love with it. I got it in a couple different colors actually. And then for the sweatpants, these ones are from Everlane and they are the cashmere sweatpants. This wasn't the first thing that I had in mind for sweatpants, but then, you know, now that I have them, I'm very convinced that they are absolutely amazing. They would make the best Christmas gift in the world <laughs> because who doesn't want to receive a pair of cashmere sweatpants guys. <laughs> so because I'm very short, like I'm five foot one, this is really essential is to be able to have pants that actually are tailored to fit you. And I actually kind of feel a little funny about tailoring my sweatpants. So I've got a little, you know, another little hack for you guys, which is these pants have a cuff that runs along the bottom hem of the pants. And so it's really nice to be able to just tuck that in. And then that just lends itself to looking like it's tailored. No one knows that I did that except for you guys now. <laughs> to transform this look into something when I'm going out of the house, I would definitely go with my Everlane day boots. It's nice to be able to have something 
that is a comfortable shoe that does elevate the style. For this version, I actually am wearing a black pair and I'm going to repeat that color later. But before I actually get into all of the rest of the look, I first wanna just layer on some jewelry again. So it's nice to be able to wear jewelry with just a, a sweatpants, sweatshirt look. That just elevates the style and brings it to another level of class. And here's what makes those shoes really work. It's this linen cardigan that I got off of Etsy and I'll leave a link down in the description below. Actually, I'll leave a link down to everything that I mentioned down below or at least something similar. But these are really fun to wear. I have this particular linen cardigan in a couple of colors so that I'm taking care of for the entire fall, winter seasons. So this one is really nice because I think that it's cut very minimally. There's not too much going on and it's very artistic in the way that it was cut and sewn together. So I've really loved this one so far. I actually take the, the belt that runs with it and I just tie that in loosely in the back so that it just sits back there and it just makes the whole cardigan just lay very well against the rest of the outfit. And then as far as a purse, I'm going to wear my Angela Roy bag with this. This bag is really good if you want something that's very minimal and chic. I actually was looking for something that was handheld, like not something with a crossbody type of wrap, something that I could wear and just look a little bit more elegant. So it's really great if you want like a minimal chic look. It's also made out of vegan materials. This final look, I'm wearing just a standard pair of jeans with a tee. So this tee is is an Everlane scoop neck. Scoop necks are actually a really great neckline for petite women like myself who want to look a little bit taller. I think it's also great to just expose a little bit of skin there. Actually scoop necks as well as v-necks are the most versatile necklines on anyone. So automatically, right out of the gate, if I just tuck in my shirt, this whole outfit comes together a lot better. So before, I felt like this outfit looked a little bit more heavy on me, and then as soon as I tucked it in, I felt like this outfit was a lot more of a slimming effect. So here again, this outfit's another contender for my Nisolo Chelsea boots. They obviously give me a lot more height, and that's automatically a little bit of a win for me. And I also like the fact that it just repeats that black color throughout this outfit. So I really think that this outfit it comes together even more when I put on my jewelry. Obviously, this is the same jewelry throughout the whole video, so definitely check it out in the description below, but I think that just having a nice long layered necklace and then also something a little bit shorter is a nice effect. For this outfit, I really wanted to try to work with a blazer because they keep me nice and warm, but they're also just got a really cool look to them as far as the season goes. Um, it's very sophisticated and you could wear it with almost anything. So I really like to wear it with this outfit, which is very standard and just wearing a blazer elevates the style a lot, a lot more. But for pants, I think that this outfit could be a little bit edgier. So I'm going to go with a pair that has a cut off look. So something that doesn't have that standard hem. That just gives me a little bit more of an edge. I think they go really well with the Chelsea boots. So that's it for my three outfit transformations. I hope that you really liked it. Give this video a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!